Hi guys and welcome to my video. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to build a website. So I'll be talking you guys through two separate videos for two separate parts of building your website. So this is part one. I'm going to be showing you guys how to upload your chosen theme onto WordPress, how to actually use WordPress and how to edit the theme that you've chosen. So change your headers, change your logos, your images, and rearrange the entire layout to suit you and your website design. So if you like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more of me and my social media channels, then click my Instagram link and my Snapchat link. If you want to see more videos like this, then please do request it and I can make some more tutorials. So without further ado, let's just get started. So if you haven't already installed WordPress through a hosting server and got your login details and admin password set up, then you need to watch my second part of the video. So that would be part two. So pause this video, go and watch part two, and then come back to this one. But for those of you who have already set up and installed your WordPress, then you would just log in like this. So I'm just going to use um, this website that I've started creating as an example. I've just entered my username and password there off screen. So the first thing that you want to do is go to appearance and themes and then you just go straight to upload and then click upload theme. Now this is on the basis that you have already downloaded your theme that you're going to use and that's already pre-installed onto your computer. So if it is, then you just click to choose file and then you would search for your theme. So mine will be on my desktop. And then you want to upload the zip file and install now. And once that's done, it should come up here, okay? And then you're going to click activate. And then you're going to click on theme details. So down here you will either have be theme demo data or something like be theme pre-made websites or pre-made sites. So you just click on that, whichever one you have. And then you're going to import demo. And then you will choose the one from the be theme website that you've pre-selected. So I'm just going to go to showcase and then I'm going to import all attachments and import demo data. Now normally at this point you'll get a little notification to say that you need to install all of your plugins that I want to use. So if it doesn't have a link here to click on plugins then you just go straight to the plugin section right here. And then you'll see all your plugins that you need to use. So I tick this little box and that gives you a bulk actions and you'll want to say install first of all, which isn't appearing for me because I've already done it. And then you would hit apply. And once that's installed, then you would click that little box again and go into activate and you'd hit apply again and once that's all done you would go to visit your site and you can see then that the theme that you've chosen has been fully installed and all this here can be custom edited to whatever you want so you can have your um, logos or affiliate companies that you've worked with here, your showcase about all the things that you find on the template that you liked will be here. And then obviously you will have your uh, copyright logo, the date or the year that your website was made, all rights reserved, and your, your title that you typed in on Bluehost. And then Muffin Group as well, which is the owner of the B theme. Now to customize all of this, you're going to have to go into the back end of the WordPress again. So the same place that we're at for installing your plugins and your theme and everything. If you just scroll down to pages, you will see that the about section, the design process, the hire me, showcase and sample page 
and home page is all already there, which is this bit. So the showcase about design process, hire me and buy now. So all those pages are already pre-installed, which makes life really, really easy. But obviously you want all this information to be bespoke to you. So we're gonna go back into pages and then we'll just click on hire me, which is the part that I showed you. So if you click edit, that will bring up all the back end of the actual page. So you have your divider and you have these pink sub bars and then you have your little columns which holds all the information for your images, your columns, your contact forms. So let me just show you. So this is your column heading. Then you have your contact information in a little column description. So contact info. And that's just there. And then you've got this picture here, which has been put in as an image and then your contact form at the bottom. So it's quite simple to see the layout and how that's sort of been created. So to say that we're going to change this little heading here, we're going to go into the column heading that that section's about and you click this little pencil, which when you hover over it, it says edit. And then it's already got its code there for you. So the H2 is the sizes. So you have your size H1, H2, H3, H4, H5 and H6. You've got your paragraph breaks. You've got a return sign. You've got um, a little button here so you can add, I think, an image or some website links. But this bit's already been kind of coded for you. So you see here the way it has hire me and then it's got a new line if you like my work. That's already been done for you by putting a break with a little slash in the middle. So that actually is coded to take a new line. So we will just put hire me. Um, I'm just going to change it slightly if you love my images. Okay. And we're just going to make that a different size. So I changed the H2 to an H1. Okay. And this bit's not going to come up on the actual website. That's just for your benefit. So you can clearly see which bit is what. You can change the text align to center, left, right, justify, or none. I'm going to keep it at none. And I'm going to keep all of this the same. Your margin, I'm going to keep the same because it's already been pre-done for me. But if I wanted to move it slightly over to the left or slightly over to the right, then I would change that accordingly. Okay, and I'm going to hit save changes. Then, just to show you this bit as well. So this is your contact information and it has a little picture here and everything as well. So we would put contact info. Um, this bit, you would maybe put some information. I'm just going to change that to, here is my information, and then the contact telephone number and email address is just down below. So if I just put, I'll just keep that bit the same, and I will put info at leilachristina.com, okay? That's just an example. And then I'm going to keep everything the same here again and save changes. Now the image here needs to be changed. So you would make a custom circle image uh, with your own logo or something if you wanted. So I'm just going to find an image here. If I just type in Zoe and see what comes up. Um, okay, so I'm just going to use this image. Okay, and then you would actually put your caption and your image title in there as well, and that will help with your Google search ranking. And then I just hit select file. 
and you can change the image width and height and everything and where you want it to sit. But again, I tend to keep all these things exactly the same as they are on the website. And then you've got your send me an a message. So it's displaying here that the contact form is not found. Chances are the reason for that is maybe a plugin is not working or you may just have to reinstall a new contact page. So we'll just leave that bit blank for now. And I'll just put the word here in there just to show that these changes are being made. Save changes and that's that page done other than of course this big image as well which is coming up as a background image. So I would assume that is in here somewhere. So you would change that bit uh, to whatever background image you want, possibly of your artwork or whatever suits and save changes and then you would just go here to update just refresh this page yeah so it's all changed so hire me if you love my images contact info here's my information i changed the email address and that image would be changed as well okay so that's actually how you do the pages themselves now to change your basic information like your logo for example and maybe how your menus appear and how your Facebook icons or social media icons appear is all a, a different process again. So I'm just going to show you that. So instead of going into your pages, because that's only going to address the individual pages, you actually go down into your appearance. And then if you go to B theme options, that will be the basic information, for example, your logo, where your menu bar appears, where your header and subheader appears, um, how your pages appear, what colours you're going for, where you put your footers, all that kind of information goes into that side of the website. So that goes into your B theme options. But if you just look here, I'm going to go into global and then logo, and that will bring up which logo you've actually got on here. So you would remove your logo and I'm just going to upload a completely different logo again. If I go to select files and I will type in logo and bring up one of my hair extension ones. Uh, let me see if I go to this. Now obviously this isn't going to be relevant at all to the site that you're going to be using. But it's just to show you an example and then that will change. Okay, so we'd save that, save changes. Things you can change here in general information is your actual layout of the website, um, which style you want these bits to appear. This is just clicked on simple. Um, what style you want your buttons to appear. So I'm gonna keep all this the same because I quite like the way it is. Um, your sliders, for example, you can actually enter different information for this. Although if you're not an advanced WordPress user, you don't need to worry about any of these bits at all. Then if you click into your header and subheader, at the moment, your header is appearing as the creative option, which is coming down to the side. If I just show you, um, say we want to have it up to the top, like a, a standard website would be, you would just click on that bit and hit save changes and then go in and refresh the page. So that's then just appeared that way. Now I'm going to just change it back. And there we go. And then you can go down into your colors, for example, and change what colours you want certain things to come up. So you could change your writing from pink to yellow, for example. Um, you can change your header search bar menu, your link colours, the way they're coming up pink at the moment. And then you can go down here and change your fonts as well. So really you can change anything you like. If you want to change these menus to completely different names, you would go down into appearance and click menus and then your menus are brought up here so you could change the my showcase to um, my portfolio and then you can change your 
uh, about section to about me, for example, okay? And then just hit save and go and refresh that. And there you go, my portfolio and about me. Okay. And then these little social icons as well, they can be changed to click into all your social media channels. So to do that, you go to Appearance, B Theme Options, and then you scroll down into Social. So here you would just copy and paste the link to your Facebook page. Now, I'm assuming that probably isn't the right link, <laughs> but you would do that for all of your different channels. So your YouTube page, your Pinterest account, your Instagram account, all of that can be under the one little thing. And then you just hit save changes again. And then when you go to click on that, it will take you to a different page. There, so it did take you to HTTPS, LeilaChristinaJewelry.com. Okay, and then to change these little icons as well, you could either put your own logos there if you have multiple businesses or any important companies that you've worked for, you would put all their little logos in there as well to show that you've worked with those different companies. And to do that, you would go to your pages and then into your home page. And that bit there is in your clients section. So you would just click on that. So you go in there and change how many you actually want. So in this example, you currently have six here, and that's because of this setting. But if you have 10 clients, then you can put 10 in there. But the recommended number as WordPress will tell you is between three and six, but I have seen companies with like 30. <laughs> so you can do whatever you like. And then once you've done that, you would hit update. And then you go into your clients section on the dashboard here. And you can see them all here. So they've labeled them clients one to six and the little logos are here. So to change that to the ones that you want, you would go to add new and I'm going to add leading lengths as the title and I'm going to have a link to leadinglengths.com and then my featured image, I'm just going to use that same logo again that I've put on before and I'm going to hit publish And then we'll go and refresh that page. And you can see there it has updated. Now the reason they're so small is because we put 10 there. So this has space for 10. The last thing that I can see here is all these parts. So recent posts, recent comments, archives, the categories, all that sort of stuff is still at the bottom of the page and most people want to clear that out. I'm not going to actually clear it here, but I am going to show you how you can clear it if you don't like it. So to do that, you would go into your widgets and you would just delete them. So recent posts, delete, recent comments, delete, and so on. And that's really it guys, that's all I can think of. Um, that's all that's kind of screaming out at me. But if you do have any questions or if you're following my tutorial to update your own website and you get stuck at anything, then do just give me a message. I may not be able to help with absolutely everything because I'm not a web designer at all. I just self-taught from YouTube tutorials and Google searches. Um, but so far I've built about five different websites now and they're all working absolutely fine for me. So I hope you find this tutorial useful. And do leave me a comment if you're struggling with anything and I'll try my best to help. If you enjoyed this video, if you find it helpful, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps my channel and I really appreciate it a lot. 
Um, and that's it for now. See you later. Bye-bye.